Hello and welcome back to UK Tool Talk. Right, this is part two of this fan review of this fantastic lady drill pink DIY for women. So I've taken it apart and given it a, just a bit of a review of how it looks, but we need to see how it performs if it's going to go to my missus. Obviously, <laughs> in reality, my missus would be like absolutely in disgust if I actually seriously bought this very, very strange drill, but never mind, never mind. We might as well give it a bit of a test. So we'll get a screwdriver bit in it. I think it'll be able to manage um, putting in some screws. <laughs> I'm more really concerned about um, the battery. I've been charging this thing for hours and hours and hours. Never seems to get charged. I think the, what's going to let this tool down is the battery or the motor might blow up. I don't know. So we've got a few little screws to start with. And we'll see how we get on. Bad. Try a slightly longer one. Keep on knocking the bloody forward and reverse for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Like I said before, the adjustable um, trigger. It's all right. Oh hell. Pretty powerful. Quite talky, but we'll know really more when I put this screw in. This is a two and a half inch ten. Quite a beefy screw. So here we go. It's a good start. Not bad. I think um I think the battery's going already. But before it does, we'll just try that little bit of drilling. And shall we get on? I'm fucking sick of having to deal with this, this chuck with two bits. Anyway. We'll see how it gets on with this. Oh, I think the battery's gone already. No, I think the yeah yeah, the battery's completely gone. I can't be able to charge that up again to do another bloody test. I was hoping to put a spade bit in. But I've got another idea. Hmm. Okay, we've tried it with this battery. Like I said, it didn't really perform that well. This pot, this battery, although the can of tool claims to be new, it's probably been sat in a warehouse for years. And this battery is pretty much knackered. It, it holds a little bit of charge, but it takes forever to charge it. But it is, look, it is 12 volt. The drill's 12 volts, so have a guess what I bloody did. Well, you know what I did. I've got a Makita CXT 12 volt battery. I think this is only a sort of like a 2 amp battery. Let's see if it's charged. So, it's quite simple in here. What I mean, there's no electronics to mess about with. So, with this drill being dead simple, I don't think there's going to be any issue about running this drill, 12 volt drill on a Makita battery. I think it's gonna run a lot better. Not faster, but I think it's gonna have more sort of power. It's not gonna drain the battery. So I've got a little bit, I've got a little bit of wood there. So I'll try it with, a, I think that's a, um, a two inch eight or something. I've, I'm using the, the bits that came with it just to see if that'll go on. I'm a bit cack handed, sorry. Oh, that was pretty good.
I'll have a bit of a crack through, through a knot. better a lot better with the Makita battery obviously and the it hasn't started smoking out the back not uh, smelling a little bit but we'll try a, a bigger screw this is like a two and a half inch screw we'll, we'll see what gets on with this Moses, oh, bloody tons of torque. It's actually quite hard to hold on to it because because the handle's quite big. And the bit seems to be holding up all right. That's not. I'm quite impressed actually. What we'll do is we'll um, get that uh, the bit holder. I'll try a spade bit. Remember, this hasn't got any kind of speed setting, so. It's flat out or nothing at all. So we'll give it a whirl. Are you ready? Let's put this on the side there like that. It might, it might bloody help if the, the spade bit wasn't blunt. Right, fuck that. get that bloody thing off and we'll try we'll try another bit hang on right we'll try one of these bits that the self drive the, they call auger bits or is it a bit like shrek that's an ogre bloody hell i've met some ogres in my time tell you what dated a few as well oh my god anyway, we'll give this a whirl don't think it's going to work but it might burn the bloody thing off out Tell you what, bloody hell, that takes some doing. It's got a pretty, it's got a pretty good bloody motor to this. It takes, like I said, it's hard to keep grips with, but I'm, I'm all over it. I'm enjoying it. Crikey <laughs> Moses! Oh, there's no bloody stopping it. I'm going to go for it again. It's only taken one bar off that. Oh, it's knocking me out. I made a bloody mess. Jesus. What we'll do for um before we sign off and say this is a cool drill and my missus is really looking forward to getting it. We'll just try and find a little bit of steel. We'll drill a little bit of steel. Foot crack. Let me have a tidy up first. Okay, this is one of the little um uh, steel drill bits that came with the set. Kind of looks up. Kind of looks all right. Anyway, we'll try a bit of um aluminium box action. See how we get on with that. Don't you just hate it when that happens? I tell you what the crack was. That was user error. That wasn't the drill bit's fault. I got mad because I've got temper. I've got a bit of a temper problem. Anyway. Didn't have it old. I didn't have hold of it properly, so I'll try with a slightly smaller one. And I'll try. It, I tell you what, muckers, it's really hard to keep it bloody. I don't know. It's really hard to keep it straight.
well. <laughs> uh, no, the bits aren't so good. So, <laughs> I don't think we'll bother with that. But nevertheless, nevertheless, right, I'm quite impressed with it. Bloody, it's, tell you what, it's hurt my wrist just holding on to it. So with the Makita battery, it's absolutely tons bare. It hasn't got hot at all, which is amazing. Um, I suppose we should try this torque settings one one more time. We'll put the screwdriver bit back in. Right then, we'll just uh, put the torque setting. Uh, where are we at? On six. I think there's a bit of a, I think there's a bit of a moral to this story. Is um, if the drill doesn't work that well, uh, don't get don't get mad at it and start throwing stuff about. It's not big and it's not clever throwing stuff about. So don't do what I do. All right, I'll try this little screw with the clutch setting. Turn it round to really low. It does work. Yeah, you have to got it. You've got to have it really low to. But it does work. So there we go. Let down by the battery, the nickel cadmium battery. Um, not quite sure about the garish um, colourways on this drill. It's all a bit daft, but that's what you come to expect from my channel. So, as a bit of a laugh, obviously, said this was from a missus. If I gave this to my missus, they'd end up bloody bricking me out round head with it. Anyway, so this is going to go just on to... Not the, obviously, it's not going on the Makita Museum shelf. Of, of, but I'll find a little... I think I've already found a, like a little place in my heart for this drill already because with them, forget about this battery, but with the uh, uh, Makita battery, it was a bit of a monster. Very slow running, but never, <laughs> nevertheless. So anyway, thanks for watching another UK Tool Talk daft video and we'll see you next time.